Matthew, we know that creating content is becoming kind of a normal these days. Everyone is posting their ideas, or I read this book, motivation, spiritual, like yourself. So what do you, why do you think that this is becoming a trend? And if people are not used to creating content for job seekers, you know, expressing their ideas, what they can do to start creating content? Yeah, so I guess uh, the first question, why do I think it's becoming a trend? I think people are recognizing the power of social media right now and the power of networking. And I mean, it, it's like you and I, we, we met each other through LinkedIn um, in a community. And it's amazing how these connections happen. I know people all over the world now as a result of content that I've created over the last like 12 months. And so I think that's, you know, something that really excites people. It gives them the opportunity to, uh, you know, share their perspective with the world and get feedback on it. And then, you know, also be powerful. I do think, you know, from a job seeking perspective, it leads to a lot of opportunity as well, because when you build and expand that network, you've got the opportunity to see into things that, you know, wouldn't have, you wouldn't have had access to before, because there's, uh, a community of individuals around you that are looking to potentially support you. And yeah. so it's amazing to see that power unfold. Um, and then r remind me again, what was part two of your question there? Well, if people are not used to creating content or they're afraid of the camera or the words will not come from their mouth, what they can do. Yeah, yeah. So I was in that position. So I I'm someone who lived with severe anxiety and panic. In fact, in one point in my life, back in like 2011, I was agoraphobic. So I was dreadfully <laughs> afraid of putting myself on camera. I mean, it was like the last thing that I wanted to do. I felt a lot of comfort hiding behind the scenes, writing a blog, you know, that was kind of my space. But for the longest time, I really never put myself on camera. And then, you know, one day I just decided I'm going to get over the sphere. You know, I'm going to confront it. And I just took my iPhone out, turned it around and started recording. And I did, you know, a very just open, transparent, you know, authentic video. Um, and I remember I was feeling like that fear welling up in my belly, but I overcame it. And it was amazing, like how um, free I felt in that moment. It was like, I had avoided that for I don't know how many years, you know, and now it's just, I was putting myself out there and that felt really good. And I got a warm response to it. And I think that motivated me to do more and more. Um, so I would say, you know, just, just give it a shot. There's a community out there that needs to hear from you. And there's something about putting yourself on camera that makes it more real, more authentic than just reading it as, you know, copy in a post. Um, I think people can kind of, they can see your sincerity, they can uh, get a better understanding for who you are. And I'm, I'm a true believer as far as content is concerned that, you know, like a magnet, we attract. So if we put ourselves out there, if we step into that space of vulnerability, if we're, we're truly authentic and, and being real, then there's a higher likelihood that we're going to attract more of those types of people into our community. And those are the types of people we want to really surround ourselves with because they're the types that we're going to learn from, we're going to grow with. And they're also the types that, you know, we want to have in our network to help open doors for us as, as we're seeking new opportunities. Yeah, content also will help as networking, as you mentioned, that's how we met. And again, for our job seekers, you know, the first thing sometimes recruiters do, they check on your LinkedIn, are you active? What are your thoughts are? Is there an alignment between the company and you that will help them make their decisions? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think it's important too, because you want to ensure as a job seeker that you're finding the right fit for you. It's okay. not just, I mean, you know, you could apply to a million different opportunities and, and you could have 10 different offers on the table, but are any of those the right fit? And I think what content allows you to do is it really allows you to be very real and very open about who you are. And so when it's out there and like these employers that are potentially, you know, looking at you as a candidate, they can see that then they know like whether or not you're a fit for their culture. And if they approach you and they, they value that content and they invite it into their organization as well, then you know that you're getting a good fit for yourself and it's one that you can benefit from long-term. 
Yeah, that's a great tip. Thank you, Matthew. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of content creation, please leave comments below and tune in next time for my final question with Matthew.